Have you looked at the night sky lately? Well, if you haven't, you have until the end of January to look at a few more bright spots than usual. If you look up, you'll be able to see Venus, the brightest one, Jupiter with its big red spot, Mars with its red-orange tint, and Saturn with its rings. If you have just a pair of binoculars, you can see some very cool things. You could see that Venus has phases, just like our moon. So right now, you can see kind of a crescent. If you look at Jupiter, then you will see up to four moons. Uh, revolving around the planet. You'll also be able to get a good look at Neptune and Uranus with the help of a telescope. Even with a pretty a decent sized telescope, these planets, uh, even though they are bigger than the Earth, uh, they are so far away in our solar system that they almost appear star-like. So the, the main difference that is that instead of being a little point, you see a tiny disk uh, and a bit of color. You rarely get to see these planets all at the same time. What's really interesting right now is that uh, they are all visible in the, the evening sky. So here are some tips on how to get a glimpse. Find a spot away from city lights and give your eyes 30 minutes to adjust to the darkness. The planets will be low on the horizon, so avoid tall buildings or trees. Astronomers suggest using apps and online resources to help you locate the planets, such as Stellarium and Telescopius. And this isn't the only celestial event to look forward to. The 14th of March, um, there's a tot total lunar eclipse. Two weeks later, there's a partial solar eclipse at sunrise. A seven-planet alignment will be visible in late February, and two more planetary alignments in late 2025. Not a bad year to see what our solar system has to offer.